everyone. Quick update today to show you what's going on at the shop and with the Jeep. So let's get the tour started. So we removed the front and the rear axle from the Jeep and all the control arms that were attached to the, the new axles. There are a few things that I will take off the front axle here, the steering linkage and the, the shock, the steering stabilizer. Although I'm probably gonna buy a new one cause this is probably the original one. And we have started to install the new axles in the Jeep. So the rear one is almost in. There are a few things that uh, we need to do to uh, call it a day or finish the uh, installation. Uh, I need to, uh, um, install the uh, isolators here on the underneath the, the coil spring and few other things um, I think I need a bolt for the for the track bar and the front is in as well and same thing there are a few things that uh, we need to do uh, to finish the, uh, the installation so that's good I mean we made some progress uh, it goes slowly because as we go we discover thing and I need you know to buy stuff for example the bump stop just just fall off so I think it's all rotten so I had to buy that um, also I had to buy the uh, uh, isolator here uh, that goes under the, the coil so all that you know uh, takes time but I knew that before starting all these upgrades I mean it is a 97 uh, Jeep so this is uh, expected and talking about unexpected but expected things uh, when we remove the cross member here the transmission support uh, this is what happened there is like a, a nut insert uh, that is uh, on the frame to hold the cross member there are three of them and the center one just decided to die so we have to take that off and then replace it so we'll make a little little sleeve with a flange that we're gonna tack weld here and that should be okay but this is all this little thing that happened and uh, slows everything down and there was two reasons why we removed the cross member uh, this transmission support here one was to remove the front drive shaft we wanted to make sure that everything was okay with it so that was the uh, the only way to check that was to uh, take it off and uh, also the only way for me to grease my drive shaft the rear drive shaft um, not sure if you can see here uh, is to remove the the cross member as, as well so as you can see you have two uh, grease nipple here so those are really accessible it's easy to reach but there is one inside here uh, where I need a little uh, needle uh, tool to access the uh, the opening to grease the the bowl in the double joint uh, carton there and I cannot grease it with the uh, cover on uh, or even when the um, drive shaft is connected to the rear so in order for me to grease this uh, hidden uh, ball here inside I have to disconnect the uh, the drive shaft at the rear here on the rear axle so that I can you know like drop it down and access the uh, the, the grease feeder kind of sucks but it is what it is so inspecting the front drive shaft here so this is the part that goes toward the transfer case and I don't know if you can see but the there is a like a, a dust shield in the back here it's hard to see but you can see some, uh, I'm gonna to try to hold it and point here, some cracks here. So the the rubber or the seal is is shot. Um, so that's a good thing that we removed it. Everything seems fine, but you know, it's probably just a matter of time before something happens, so. So what else did we do? We removed the fuel tank and of course the uh, fuel tank uh, skid plates and remove the, the fuel pump i mean the the fuel sending unit and that was very interesting so uh, this is the filter sock that goes at the bottom of the sending unit here and that's at the bottom of the tank and i don't know if you can see or not but you should be able to see through this um, and it's all uh, full of I don't know what it is, but it's 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 not good. Uh, you can see in the in the hole here, like it's completely you know dirty. 
So that's one thing, you know, that uh, maybe explain why I had some uh, issues with the with the Jeep not running right. But also, so this is the fuel filter that goes on top of the sending unit here, right? So we take that off, and when it was full of uh, still full of gas, I started to you know like tap it, you know, get the gas, try to get the gas out, and I did that on top of. Uh, paper towel and this is <laughs> what came out out of the filter so it is probably full of junk um, and again uh, this is uh, the original one uh, most likely so yeah so hopefully this is why and why my Jeep was not running well so glad we uh, took that off um, tank is uh, well pretty dirty on the outside of course but the inside doesn't seem to be that dirty but because it's out I'm gonna empty all the gas and just clean uh, inside it out just start uh, with a you know a clean a clean tank and uh, yeah this is the uh, inside of the of the skid plate fuel tank skid plate so that i don't really care about because uh, i have a new one that i'm going to uh, install and the clamps i was gonna buy some new one i thought they were gonna be in bad shape but they're actually not too bad they're a little rusty here so i might uh, sandblast them and and paint them but uh, they should work um, again i should be able to reuse them so what's next well, now that I have all the parts that I need, we are going to start to put everything back together and hopefully it'll go uh, smoothly. So let me show you all the parts that, uh, that I got for the, for the Jeep to finish the job. Okay, so what do we have here? So I was able to find a bump stop for the front axle, one that were rotten and just fell off. Uh, this is uh, two sets of the um, isolators or anti-squeak. Um, I'm sure how it's how it's called. What's the official name for that? But this is the for the the top part and the bottom part for the rear um, uh, coil spring uh, in the back. I got a brand new uh, sending fuel sending unit. So I was gonna buy a new filter and sock at the bottom of the. Uh, you know the start that goes at the bottom of the sending unit like the the uh, old one I show you but then you know um, you got a lot of uh, dirty fuel and, and and crappy thing that went through the pump so you know who knows uh, how long it's gonna last so I decided to go ahead and buy a brand new sending unit so it has a of course brand new um, fuel filter and a sock and yeah this is how the well you can't really see in the plastic but this is how the <laughs> the, the sock filter uh, that goes at the bottom of the tank uh, should look like. Looks quite nicer than the one I took off. So there is that. Uh, also, uh, I bought a new uh, front drive shaft. You know, I show you that how the uh, original one was kind of a maybe uh, at its end of uh, end of life or um, we don't want to take a take a chance here. So I bought a bought a. a Tom Woods uh, drive shaft. Uh, I have this is the same brand I have in the rear, and I've been really happy with it. So, um, yep. So here it is. Uh, we did a measurement, and then I, it's a custom uh, order. You have to give the the length uh, of the drive shaft that you want, and they have few uh, options with a boot or without a boot. Um, uh, with the spline, I think they call it the X spline, which is a longer spline that allows for um, longer displacement not that i need it for what i do but uh, they say it's gonna it's gonna be a also a stronger drive shaft so i went with this option it was only like 20 bucks more uh, i got some uh, gear oil here for the front and rear diff this is the um the little gear that goes in the in the transmission and that's for the the speedometer so you need to change that whenever you change your wheel size or uh, you know your gear in the uh, differential so this is the original one that was in the jeep when i had my 410 gear and 27 inch tire you know when the, the jeep is stock so i bought another one when i uh, put the bigger tires on i'm not sure what the tires are there in the back there um, okay but now that i re-gear to 488 uh, i'm going to need 
to change that again. And I did uh, looked up uh, the table that they had, and I can reuse the original one. So, which is a good, you know, sign. Uh, of course, that means that whatever gear I have right now with the 488 uh, gearing and 33 inch tire is I'm pretty much back to uh, the same, uh, you know, gear um, ratio overall for for the Jeep. So that's good. I got some brake fluid here to uh, top off uh, whatever is needed because we had to disconnect some of the brake lines when we change the axles. And I also bought uh, new cables for the parking brake uh, because I have a different different axle with uh, also that has a disc and not uh, drums. So I had to uh, get new cables that would work uh with a disc uh but also because it's a dana 44 now so it's a different uh, it's a different setup so uh should be good to go with this and i'm also going to do a tune-up so i'm going to change all the, the distributor cap i got a new set of um, uh, spark plug wires some new spark plug and i'm also going to change uh my uh, fuel tank uh cap or fuel cap uh, one of the reason is well the one i have is old and i only have one key right so if i lose it um yeah um, i'm done i mean i can always you know break it or find a way to uh, uh change it but uh, anyway uh, i decided to to get a get a get a new one as well so yeah this is all the parts that uh, i had to buy to uh, keep moving with the uh, upgrades and finish the install and it takes it took some time uh, Got uh, some issues ordering uh, this um, sending unit here from uh, Rock Auto. So I don't know what happened, but uh, when I got the package, it was like destroyed. Like I don't know what happened to it. But so I had to return it, wait for the wait for the new one, and um, yeah, same thing with this. You know, online I thought that in the box they showed they showed this like this, and I thought it okay. I, uh, I'm gonna get two of of the lower parts, and this is this is what I needed. But actually not in the box. There was like one set for the top and the bottom. So anyway, so I had to reorder another one uh, so that I could get you know uh, the lower parts, like two lower parts. So uh, you know, good thing. Now I'm going to change both of them. So that's uh, that is that's fine. And one of the thing I need to do also is to finish routing uh, the airline here from my. I switch. Uh, this is a bracket. Uh, you probably have seen that in my in my uh, last video. Uh, so I need to route the airlines uh, to go from here all the way down to the rear axle here somewhere. I think it's right here on this hole here. So I have a little air fitting that uh, goes in there. So anyway, I need to route the, the airline. So that's also something that uh, that I have to do. So that is it for the quick update. What I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to prepare everything for tomorrow. My buddy is going to come over and help me out to uh, finish the uh, install and do whatever whatever we can. So I'm going to grease uh, both uh, drive shaft and empty the, the fuel tank and do the, all the, the little things here so that we are uh, ready to rock and roll tomorrow. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.